you had to go. Wait, so also oh, Gaga and Cody left too? I guess Question so. Question mark? That's so we're going Aww. right to this is yeah. actual grands? Okay. No. All right. It's well. Now I'm, you know what? I'm just gonna look at the match itself and let Meryl carry the team because I cannot catch up with anything right now. But right now, Jen already starting off with it. Looking kind of clean right now, 57%. Really cool thing I've already seen: the fact that Jen will jump onto those those blocks and down smash. Yeah. Because you see Steve's do it, where they like count, they like calculate the time so that they cancel the lag on their smash attacks by the boss block and spawning underneath them. And Palatine can try and do that super yeah. easily. Wow, what a start for Jen. Yeah, Jen! Jen playing hot, and he's coming from winner's side. That's normally kind of rare in most tournaments is that because if you're coming from losers a lot of people play hot and they move normally they would they will be the ones that's moving crazy and everything but Jen showing that he ain't cold right now because yeah. he already immediately obliterated that first stock right there from Quid. The thing is, one of the, something that like more inexperienced players might suffer from is if they manage to win winners finals they're in grants they get in their head yeah. I've already won this tournament I That's haven't a good lost point, a game, yeah. I'm already in Grand Finals. And uh, then you go up against whoever managed to run through losers, and the, your mentality can just shatter. Jen, such a seasoned player, though, that never happens. And yeah. the venue looking like it popping off a quid right now. Having a lot of fans <laughs> screaming Man, for this. I can't believe Steve, this is the one we needed in order for Steve to become popular. I bet you the comments right now are probably like, please don't let him let this Steve win right now. But this is Quid we're talking, the dealing already 56%. Wow, that actually stopped the card. I'm surprised. Man, oh, Palu, what a pivot drive. Palu breaks blocks quick. Yeah. And it's crazy because, like, a lot of a lot of Steve players would say, like, mm, even Steve probably beat her. But Steve has to actually have a neutral to even contest against this character. Like, Palu, in my opinion, like, would be, like, plus one based off the way how the punish game looks like. The only time I ever, ever see Palu losing is when it's um, when Steve is edge guarding Palu. The cop blocks yeah. the, the ledge and it blocks every teleport character and it forces yeah. them to and recover very uncomfortably. Honestly, one thing about Steve is, you know, people are like starting to complain. They're like, oh, Steve is, we were right all along. He was broken, uh, you know, because he's been having very good results lately. Right. However, I... Oh, the man. block I, actually messing up Jen right there. I also do still think that Steve has, people have not fully really explored the Steve counter play. Yeah, like people are just like complaining Ooh, about. Like, that was yeah, a like, perfect. That. that was a perfect frame chop right there. Quit in that scenario literally had nothing to but do right it was there. Also, because his character has such garbage air drift. Yeah, that's something that like only like that she doesn't get away get away with doing that against every single character in the game. Yeah. But against Steve, his mobility is so low that she can frame trap him like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. No, I think it's also it's also that uh, one of Jen's factors is that he's. In Jen's advantage state, he's very consistent on frame trapping people. And it's not only the way how he frame traps, it's also him following your drift, it, which makes it even more scarier. Because sometimes he can like edge guard you while Paolo's turned around, so he will threaten the back air. But sometimes he'll just drift along with you to kind of force you to panic. And then that's how, at least from my experience watching Jen play so many times, that that's how. He starts downloading people. He's like, all right, you keep drifting the way how I'm going to drift. This is how you panic. I got you in the next game. But Quid doesn't seem to – he doesn't seem the, the type of player to panic in the, the scenarios like that. So we're going to see what's going to happen right here. Going to the actual Steve color now. Looking like the yeah. most popular one oh. instead of Enderman this time. Oh, my God. 74 from just oh. iron. Oh, he didn't put it on the, exactly on the ledge. That actually would have been crazy. Quid probably listening to the back like, all right, you want me to start putting blocks over there? Counter. All right, actually smart from Quid not doing the Elite Smash because a lot of Steve's in that scenario would have dropped an anvil instead of just throwing a card. Yeah. Did he just try to ledge cancel on the block? Steve's been going for that more. Like, they'll, they'll be in disadvantage, and it was just randomly a B, like, higher than a ledge, and it'll go on the platform and cancel it, especially on low, on a small battlefield. And this well, time saying, Quid saying, having no, no, the first like, one. Like, Jen tried to teleport cancel on mm. Steve's block. Oh yeah, that that makes it a lot harder for teleport cancels too. It does, but he's going for it. Cause in this game, like er, like a lot of people that played Smash Ultimate is that you have collision boxes. So if you're standing on the ledge that your opponent wants to go to, you they they cannot teleport cancel at all if you're standing at the spot. So the fact that Quid or also Steve as a character, can, oh my god! All right, that that was a little bit close right there. If that was Diamond Gen, actually would have died right there. Oh, taking notes from Stefan, putting the, putting the TNT on the platform. 
Alright. Oh, I thought I was up smash right there. He tried the footstool. A lot of Seeds has been utilizing that tech lately, which is wow. actually scary. And what a turn from game one. This is actually three stocks to one. Quid just absolutely brutal. This is a crazy game. download right now, but Jen's not going to let it face him because he's going to finally take that first stock right there. Diamonds online now. Oh. This is like Steve has 30 this, like, damage from just one aerial. Excuse me? Well, I mean, that's the thing about, like, Steve has this. Uh, Please help me. When did he I get to 64? Yo, every hit is doing like 12 damage. It Diamond killed him at 70 on the corner. <laughs> That's what I was I saying. He had one, like when Jen had his second stock, he did the exact same four smash, but at the other side at 40, and Jen didn't go anywhere. My man's was like a damn near 70 flat. And yeah, Diamond S smash is obliterated him. Obliterated I'm that gonna, stock right I'm there. I'm going to be right back. I got to get some tissue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, and we're, we're going to go to game three right here. One up right here. Town and city. Very, very known to be a very good hollow stage. Jen, Jen seems to be very comfortable at the moment right here. Double dash attack. Oh, no jump for quit, I think. Yeah, immediate car. He has to do something about it. Block. Oh, here we go with the 60%. Nah, I was capping. Almost. Okay, there, there's a 60 right there. 60 flat. But yeah, I, I'm... I think Quid, Quid is in a really good mood today. I don't think we're going to see PT unless Quid is, like, se severely losing. Like, I know he lost earlier to Guy Guy, and he was actually PT when I saw that set. So, Guy Guy's been stepping up lately. But in terms of Grand Finals itself, Quid probably calm down. Like, you know what? Let me have fun. Let me laugh a little bit right here. And just going to do get out with some Randys. And, wow, speaking of a Randy, of Sm actually, no, that was actually calculated. A little, yeah. bit a little bit of calculation right there. Jen was stuck in a car and called out whether he was going to mash out or not. Oh, my God. That, oh, yo, for a loud-sounding anvil, that I'm surprised that they don't need 10 damage. <laughs> All right, that was actually good right there. Yeah. Tech chasing. There was nothing that Quinn really could have really done right there. Yo, and another 60% off the bat. Did you bag. see that, though? He was going for the diamond. And right, that's like Jen tried to run in against him. And he canceled it and got, like, that whole combo off of it because of that. Yeah, it's been looking really rough for Steve lately. Like, oh. I've seen, I seen Stefan from Jersey, like, do that to Jackal and, like, tweak a few times where he would go for, like, diamond or make it look like they're going to purposely dig for treasure. And then they will bait their opponent or see their opponent coming ahead of time trying to punish it, but then they will cancel it a few frames ahead of time yeah. and actually get a devastating I mean, that wasn't even, that that wasn't even like, mining. That was the crafting. Yeah. So that was, like, extra. And he still gets diamond eventually, as we're seeing right now. That back air almost killing at, like, 100. Oh, such good oh, spacing man, on good the back spacing right there Jen. Wow, and the dash attack? All right, diamond dash attack not going to take it quite yet. Oh! Oh, I, I like the jab check right there. And the up throw tries the DI mix up real quick. Jen, Jen fully being ready. And the upper is going to take it. Quit on his final stock right here at this game three. Yeah, this is best three out of five. So there's definitely got some games ahead of us right now. And win. Only about 32. Web cut. That was a crazy yeah. smack right there. Right. I'm surprised he didn't add blocks that time. He just wanted some 40 damage right there. 60. Does he have a diamond right now? Uh, yeah, 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 he diamond. got diamond. Yep. Okay. It, it all makes sense now. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. Oh, yeah. He was just swinging that sword so fast, I couldn't even see the color. Oh, oh my god. I believe <laughs> a diamond is actually slower than gold. Yeah. Gold is the fastest one in terms of frame data, but diamond is clearly like the strongest one. Yeah. I'm not sure if it's percent and knockback, but knockback is definitely the factor of diamond. Oh, oh yeah! I think oh my God! I All right, good. I, I like I like that. I like what Jen did right there. He waited and didn't pass. Oh! oh. He, he he didn't believe. He actually passed it and drifted back a bit well, too far. Well, the thing is, like, he saw it. He landed on the top of that. Yeah. He was getting. No, that's what I'm saying. At that like, point, it was he didn't believe, but he was also threatened of Quid's presence being right there, covering I, Jen. Making even it if to he landed stage. on top, he was dead. Yeah. So like, that, there was. There I feel was like Jen realized and was like, you know what? He covered every single option, and I couldn't do anything about it. Yep. That was and. Crazy. 
Quid one game away from getting the reset. He got upset into losers, and we were seeing this first tonight. So let's see if Jen, you know, given an extra set to work with, uh, whether he's going to be able to actually make this work for himself. Ooh, this game starting off a little better than the last one. A nice 56% combo. And if that. No way, no way. What would fly? And Palutena is one of those, we've already seen it, one of those recoveries that can be gimped extremely early with well-placed blocks. Yeah. That's why I'm surprised that Quid is letting Town be a thing. But at the same time, minus Palo having a huge favor. We saw that Steve had a favor in here too. Diamond, yeah, I'm killing you on like 40% behind that atrocious move. Yeah. But either way, we're going to run it back to Town and City. And I feel like this first stock is going to determine if Grand Finals is going to have a reset or not. Calling oh, it out. Yeah. Uh, at the same time, I feel like both of them have had very good composure to the point where I don't think you can necessarily like Right there, you know, Jen took that stock, but Quinn has so many ways to even it up. And he's just been doing a good job of keeping his head in the game for where it needs to be, recognizing those moments, those crucial points. Oh, where you take it. hold out oh. Jen jumping, but... Barely DI's it correctly. But one more up smash from Steve is definitely gonna take it. Yeah, he's kinda of light on materials though. I think he's been looking Right for now that he time. got he has mainly wood, dirt, and like a little bit of stone. That's also one of the other benefits to this stage in yeah. the matchup. Uh, is the fact that because it, Steve is like it's actually based on what uh, stage it is, what percentage of the materials are. Yeah. So he's gonna have a ton of wood here. <laughs> Oh, probably a miss input and counter right there? Okay. I think it actually maybe was anticipating a minor. That's what, yeah. Quid has been going either that or like he, Jen probably wanted to anticipate like an immediate back here from Quid. But either way, the Dasher, i never seen that move kill in my life. Even Dash yeah. attack from Diamond kills people. Oh, because he, because that up tilt uh, connected onto the, uh, the the crafting box as well. The extra hit magnet that Jen got out of the car. Oh no! Ooh, good recovery from Ooh. Jen, but is he gonna oh make it? Oh my god, uh, that was incredible! He got cheese. He, he got he five made, nine and nine. No, he made the pit for him. He's like, <laughs> see you in the pit. My man, my <laughs> man, really <laughs> gave him the DLC privilege right there. <laughs> Played him and like got the hole in one in the pink chinko machine. That was I, I really like what Jen did right there. Condition quit that he wasn't gonna go out there, but actually saves it for a critical moment like that, redeeming himself, and now pushing it to both of their players' final stops right there at this game. Oh my God, the nears. Yeah. I also noticed what Jen's been doing right there. Like he would turn around, and instead of like most hollows would just like throw back here at your shoe or try to like grab. You. Oh my God. Jen he has no material. He has no mind. Oh, he has to take nothing. advantage of this. Um. Ooh. All right, I like I like what Jen did. He was. He, it looked like he was going to punish, but realized it looks. It, it's it Steve's. The way how Steve's up B goes, it's basically lagless. So it catches a lot. Of, it throws a lot of people off guard if you're not familiar with the matchup. So Jen realized it, retrieved back, and now here we are at another juggling scenario from from Quid. Oh. oh my god, he read it! He read it, but be, I think he just misspaced it. That was it. I, I feel like that was just did not go for the proper option. The pivot grab right there traded. I don't know if there's a situation. He, yeah. has no, he has nothing. Like, Jen was expecting a roll, but it wasn't a roll, but he, it was he, a he similar no weapon, idea. Right? Am I crazy? Now he has a little bit of materials. No, does he have a weapon, though? Yeah. Right. I, I don't we're know we're seeing a, a lot of grabs right now. I'm trying I, to get I don't rid think of him. He has, I legitimately Ooh. don't think he has a weapon. Oh my god, that he was crazy. A, Boy, he was just slapping him with his hand and everything. <laughs> he was just slapping him with his hand. <laughs> I, I, no I way, the wood? Are you kidding me? Right. Maybe the next two wooden dash attacks will do it. Oh my god. Like, that was actually some, like, ah! real BM right there. Yo, my man is trying to set him up with the TNT. How we're coming back to the ledge? Oh, this is Jen's chance. Oh, yeah. Carry no, onto the platform. I Anvil. Oh, I did the same. I did the same shit. Ah, but the stone fair is going to do it for Quid. Taking. Oh, wait, no, that's the reason I'm bugging out. Yes, I am yep, bugging that's right gonna now. That's going to be the reset. We uh, get to uh, Jen, Jen, Jen having another set chance right here. He's Honestly, having another chance. I'm pretty hyped for this. I, yeah. 
people have been hating on Steve, which is, I think, stupid. Yeah. He's actually one of the most fun characters to watch in this game, in my opinion. Like that one combo Quinn had, where he built, like, the tiny little hole. Like one of those freaking, like, you know you know in the museums where you just put the penny down and it just swirls in? Yeah. It's like that. But he did that to Jen. Now, this is a really hype set, though, because both of these players have really great punish game and everything. And Jen's recovery has been immaculate. The full, at least the entire Grand, uh, grand Finals won. Like, what we saw at that last game that they did right there is that Quid made an L-shaped, awkward angle type of moment, and Jen barely had that and went on top of the, inside of the L corner, actually. But hopefully yeah. we're going to see a lot more recoveries from Jen. Hopefully, oh my god, and we're going to get a zero nice to zero to death from Jen right there, trying to wake him up. <laughs> and that wasn't even like a, ooh, super flashy. Yeah. That took like he just He just played the game. Play. He yeah. was just playing the game right there. Oh, right. oh my god. You know what's crazy? I, I found out recently that a lot of people are talking about Paolo's Nair is that you would smash the eye away from Paolo's Nair, but if you're like, depending on your weight, whether you're a heavy or a fast bowler, you get out of the Nair and you drop down immediately instead of like panicking to jump. And I noticed Quid's been doing that to get out of these, um, these gen Nairs consistently. Like what we saw the first time before that punish even came is that he got out of the Nairs and Steve immediately did his up tilt right under her. So depending on the character that you are, you can actually confirm it to something deadlier. But not the way how Jen is playing right now with another stock taken from Quid. Quid having no answers to it yet. Yeah, that's honestly just... Jen is making a statement about this. Yeah, he's like, hold on, hold on. Like, this Steve... Mad to Steve kind of kind of got it right here. Okay, Quid At actually got those. Time, I think this is how set one open was with Jen winning game one pretty handily. Yeah. And... Quinn managed to turn it around. And Quinn so. turned it around immediately at the next game after. Yeah, so I we're probably going to see something very similar if Quinn, yeah. assuming if Quinn loses the game right here and doesn't make a comeback. I, things are looking grim for him at the moment. 90 yeah. to 100. I honestly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looked like he heard us. It was like, ah, right, let Yo, me just was, move on to the he, next he game. He hit the concede. It was like, uh, he's like, I. You know, because, uh, okay, here's the thing. Sometimes Yo. when you are playing a game like that, right, you know, you have more games to work with. Yeah. And you don't want to necessarily reveal your panic pattern. Yeah, that's so, why it's funny. He just, we over here talking about, like, a game plan or what they've been doing and everything. It's, he just, all right, just just go ahead and take me Yo, to the next Steve game, bro. Steve is so bad. He can't, has no answer to so oh, much. Wow. I don't know how I feel I about don't, this. Yeah. Game. It, it might have worked on Eli based off the matchup, but Jen and Rob, not really a good idea. And, this is and Jen's familiar like with this matchup, yeah. too. Yeah, no, like, between <laughs> all of the Rob players, in Westchester, in the city especially, there's Zamba, there's Dill, there's so many yeah. players. Look at this punish game immediately. 63% 60. and growing. <laughs> yeah, quick camp. Land. I don't know if this Rob was the right pick. Well, let's see how he does it dis in, in advantage because yeah. that you know, that disadvantage they look kind of bad right there. Like you, you have a very solid point when you was mentioned. Like you, you got Zamba, Dill, even got other players from Jersey. Like I think Boost before all the other stuff is happening and stuff like that. And Jen's been traveling to both of those boroughs. I mean those places to get a lot of matchup experience. So yeah. if Quid actually managed to give Jen a hard time. That's saying a lot, well, based off how much Jen be playing this matchup. It would definitely be saying a lot, because at this point, that would also require a hefty comeback. Oh my Jen god, almost gets hit at the day right there. Yeah, Jen's only at 85, and we've seen that as soon as he touches Quid, Quid just takes so much damage. And oh, that was so smart going for the grab right there, Ooh. putting him off stage once more. And like, look at that, recognizes yeah. the gyro was coming, avoids it, and now Quid has even less oh resources off stage. These, I don't these even know how Packers are looking vicious oh. right now. Man. Jen's saying, stop playing with me right now. Stop playing with me. He said, we're playing Smash. We're not playing Sandbags. <laughs> All right, and their planes are coming through. Dra oh. I love that. I dragged I, him down right here. I swear he could have hit a button there. I think this is honestly, this is like game one. Yeah. Where he just like. We're like probably like, I'm hungry, I'm tired, laying I want to go home. Either I that or he tried to show off for the fans for the West Chester piece. Yeah. It could it's be like one of those. I, I think. Look, look at Quinn right Quinn now. Quinn just wanted to get the reverse. This dude, yeah, this dude, fa this dude's face looking kind of serious. He's like, damn, I don't oh, know right wow. now, bro. Yeah, like, no, I, I, I'm not trying to play PT. 
Oh, the Ryu random, yeah. This ain't the day. This is not the day what? right now. Jen, like, I'm about this business, Yo, homie. Jen, like, oh, okay. He, yeah, right. he went Ryu on some people from what I've been seeing and hearing. Well, because if you didn't know, Jen being Yeah, he used to use Smash Ryu 4. in Smash 4 a lot. So this is kind of interesting to actually see him using him right now against Quid. But, yeah, um, and, and then you have, like, it's maybe it's an inspiration, too, from uh, Amiso from the Japanese region and everything like that. I didn't get to really see it, unfortunately, but I plan on seeing it later on when I get home. But he's been making moves recently. I've never heard of this player. He went into grand finals at a Japanese major. And it's been inspiring to a lot of people that haven't played the Shotos and giving them another chance. Right now, Jen wrapping up to 92% right here. Yeah, there's any type of like, thing leading into True Shoryu. Oh, was that? That wasn't True Shoryu. I, it looked like it? a sour spot on True Shoryu, honestly. Because 90% is zero, and so she's kind of light, too. She is. Yeah, no, she So is. Ryu with one confirm can actually kill her immediately. Nice focus from Jen. Ooh. Okay, I guess he wanted to be cheeky right there. My man is showing off all the hit cancels. The dare. <laughs> this side response he's, tear. He's hitting with every single area. <laughs> he's so, yo, he is styling the hunt right now, bro. That's kind of wild. Oh, this air? Yeah, all right, good edge guarding for Quid. I can't believe that Quid's random is actually going to be cool. <laughs> <laughs> really smart right there, going for CSS Quid, which yeah. is a multi-hit. I was just going to mention that, too. Oh. Like, a lot of this, I feel like most zero suits that are mediocre level is just going to go for, like, up your strings to try to cheese them. But uh, Quid being one step ahead is saying, well, if he focus, I'll get the multi-hit out the way. And I feel like I feel like this matchup could be a little even. -ish. So oh my god! Right yeah. <laughs> yeah, like the fact that I think that was something that they buffed with, with Ryu in one of the uh, patches was they gave so much shield damage to the. Uh, it's not even that. Like it, Ryu's fire is the most busted thing he got now. Because ever since that patch that his fireballs got buffed, he can use it a lot more faster. It's buffed. Its damage output is ridiculous, and it can combo into most of his other um, shoto confirms. Yeah. No, and what Jen almost had right there at that last stock is that he hit Quid's shield with the fire and immediately started walking and tried to do the collarbone breaker. Oh, wow, sure, you can right there. And still going to do it anyway. Yeah, now things are looking. Oh, that's oh, never mind. Here that we go. Ryu. Yeah. One stock apiece. Let's see how this ends up going. I, I I, I have no idea how this is going to progress. Now, the thing is, you mentioned Ryu's Fireball, which is like, yeah. fantastic. And that means that the character's a lot more of a zone yeah. uh, than any than any time he's ever been. Like, like, normally, Ryu is like, you know, he's the all-rounder. He's the Mario of his respective series. Mm. Uh, but in this game, he likes to throw out projectiles just like that. The thing is, Zero is one of the best characters in zone break. Yeah, I mean, Ryu, out of the Shotos, he's generally always known to be more of the zoner type based off of the Fireball, because he can either mix up the regular Hadouken or the fire and reels can adapt to your situation based on how you react to the Hadoukens. Like if you block, yeah. if you're just shielding the regular Hadoukens, well, the like, then he can just throw the fireball and vice it, versa. Oh my god, okay, nope. it's fine. Um, no way. Not, oh, oh, he's extremely oh. not fine. All right, he, he could have went for it, but still gets it. It quit having another chance. This is Grand Finals yeah. too. Getting a game on the board in this reset. The random is what he needed apparently. Now let's see what happens. Do you think Jen's gonna go back? I feel like he's gonna uh, stay with Ryu until he. I think really he's gonna stay with Ryu for one more game. I think yeah, Quinn and then if he loses, stay with random for one more game. And then the game and five is gonna be crazy. Oh, hold up! He said, "Nah, nah, nah." <laughs> he said, "Hold up." <laughs> he said, "Nah, I'm trying Wait, to win hold right on now." A Wait, did he win Ryu? So hold on a second. The Quinn had, <laughs> Quinn had to declare a character first, <laughs> which is kind of wild. So and it, it's crazy because not too many people pay attention to those scenarios too, but. It depends on a, it depends on the scenario, at least for these players, because they don't they don't care. Like Jen's like, well, I'm gonna just pick, even though technically it was supposed to be quits counting pick. Either way. No, I think I think he just went Ken regardless. No, I, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like oh, in that yeah, scenario, yeah. like Jen just he was gonna pick Ken regardless, and Quit again. was like, right, I'm gonna just win, go PT. I, I do know that I think PT as well against Paladin. Pichu? No, PT. Oh yeah. I think PT does pretty good against Paolo, too. It can be even. It's either even or PT favored. Personally, I think it's PT favored just because Gordo can maneuver around Apollo's stuff, but that combo is kind of wild. 
I can't. He made that combo look so no, easy. No joke. If Quinn manages to get this win this set because he mind games Jen into randoms. Yeah. I was what just a, thinking the savage. It's like damn, like you was about to get three old and then like random went in your favor as the zero suit. Got the game off Jen. And now you go to PT and now you have a high chance on reverse three oh in this man right here. Oh good roll from Quid, not panicking. Oh, but a slight mistiming on that down tilt actually doesn't leave into as much damage as yeah. I mean. Squirtle being very small, so it's going to be hard for Ken to try to carry Squirtle around it on, if he was like a lot bigger. On the other hand, Squirtle's like <gasps> cross up to nothing because yeah. Ken will always turn to face him. And which is crazy because not too many people know that Squirtle's dare and bear is technically not safe with the whole cast. But you have a good, you have a very solid point is that as a Shoto. You don't care what aerial he do, because I'm going to just auto aim by turn around, and I'm going to still yeah. punish you the same way. Oh, that was, a, that was oh, so good. Of a spot barely dodge. DI's there. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, that would have been wild. All right, a little bit of neutral going on right here. And the Chars are giving Jen a chance to kind of redeem that stock. Oh, it's oh, that's nice. gotta be death. What? Oh my God, oh, yo! Right. What a Jen being such a nice guy right there. I didn't quit get away with that. Sure, we're gonna yes. Yeah. He, was, <laughs> he consciously made that decision to be a swell fella. <laughs> it happens to everybody. It even happens to the best of us. But we're gonna go to the last stock right here. Squirtle and Ken duking it out. But as you were saying, like like the cross ups is gonna be a lot harder. Like yeah, right. He, he realized like I can space my moves though, so that's gonna be Squirtle's mix up in this matchup. Is instead of Squirtle relying on cross ups, he's gonna, yeah he's gonna be relying on spacing. Like he's gonna look like he's going to cross you up, but not really. At, instead of I'm just gonna be out of your range and make you throw out some type of option. Oh man. Man, look at this. He's still staying Squirtle. Yeah. He's he's winning. He's winning neutral. Why not? And he's going to try to make Jen mess up his spacing on recovering. Yep, and Ivy Shore is going to come in play. And if he has no resources, that's a dead Ken. Yep. I was and just going to mention that's a dead Ken. Ah. Ew, look at look at Ivy Shore's face. <laughs> uh, game 5 Grand Finals 2. Jen probably gonna go back to the Palo right now, man. He 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 can't risk this. Yeah, he ain't gonna right risk to it with PS2, a two, right to the Palo. I think we were going to get as our yep. final match the one we were always expecting from the beginning. Are you kidding? Yeah, no, yeah no, but it's no what you doing here. It's my kind of pick. We doing. <laughs> I pick Palo for the PT. <laughs> yeah, it is worth knowing that uh, technically he had to declare first, but yeah, yeah, this was always this was always the plan. So now. We this seen ten. the actual mains duking it out finally. Game ten, yeah, ten, right? Because the last one also went to game five. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. If these two had met winners, I wouldn't be surprised if this <laughs> would have been a game fifteen. <laughs> oh, oh, good grab right there. Ooh, good up tilt from Quid. So yeah, come off right. stage, calls out the jump. Oh, uh, I called it out though. I like that back throw also, just recognizing at that point he wants to get stage position. And that might be the key source for his damage. What an air Oh dodge. my god, that was crazy because a lot I feel like everyone would have buffered something out of that. And the last time, at least for, the last time I seen these two play was that Jersey major that it was at. And Quid was just edge guarding him with Squirtle near, near. Could sit 12 times in a row, two framing Jen. But I think Jen, they both realized what happened last time. So I like the back here that Quid had tried attempting with Squirtle to try to get some buffers to the mouth. Ooh. Oh man. Tries to cheat. Tries, try to grab him real quick. Not gonna work. Jen's spacing right now has been absolutely phenomenal. He's just dashing out of range for Ivy Sword's moves, which are big, by the way. And mentioned to get in for the punish. He wanted that so badly, but. He's, he's like he's it's like right he's here. reading his he's reading his ledge options but at the same time it's like he, oh man dies for it anyway but um when when I was noticing what he was ledge trapping him he would space everything precisely and actually be one step ahead of him but he doesn't pull the trigger 
unless he's saving that for a crucial stock. But this is this is the game you need to do all of that right now. All right, nice back air usage right there. Fine yeah. whip. Wow, nice. Nice. Oh, good good so shit for Jen not panicking on anything right there. Off the stage on purpose yeah. so he could be there in That was time actually big brain from Jen right there. Instead of grabbing the ledge, as you mentioned, went literally over it just so he can get that precise punish right there. Yeah, and that's allowing him to stop oh, even. And now he's got momentum coming in from that. The percents are almost neck and neck right here. I think we're probably after this throw gonna maybe see a swap to the IP sword. No, he's staying. Now, I feel like one more time he's gonna actually he's gonna he's either gonna go for the tech chase with Squirtle or throw some off one more time and go ID sword. Or we can do the near. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, and there he it absolutely is. yeah, that was actually really good from Quid. Perfect edge guard, waited till all of his resources ran out and try to make Jen recover in an awkward angle, just enough for Ivysaur to throw him down. And Jen having his final chance to win this entire encore tonight. Yeah, he was on the winner's side of things. He was so close to taking this tournament just a little while ago, and now he's on his last stock, kind of struggling Ooh. here. Oh. Barely missed it somehow. Oh, this but it might be really grim. Oh Another God. one up goes up. Jeez, this is so much damage already. He's stuck at the ledge. Can he find his is way up? Is he gonna do the it? same thing like he did to Tony PJs? Nah, nah, not yet, not yet. I don't know if you saw that set last week, but he kind of styled on my man's right here. My man read three options out of the ledge and just called him out with the jump. Oh, oh is he gonna do jump? it? Near? I think oh he's gonna be it though. my yep. God, and that is crazy. My man turned up real quick with that Ivy sword. Managing to climb all the way through losers, getting upset early. Upset on from by Guy Guy. Guy. Yeah, uh, managing to take out a bunch of top players here in Westchester. In the end, managing to get the reversal onto Jen. And it looked like Quid didn't reverse 3-0. Yeah, it reversed 3-0 actually. And it looked like he didn't.